हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल आई एम सौम्यंजन मिश्रा टेक्निकल इंजीनियर एट सेमको इन्फ्राटेक प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू ऑपरेशन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ 5000 थाउजेंड एमपीयर डबल सेडेड स्पॉट वेल्डिंग मशीन विथ सिक्स एक्सिस कंट्रोल This six axis double sided spot welding machine is required for spot welding at both the uh, sides of this uh, cells or for making battery pack. Uh, this device requires 2.5 kilowatt supply input supply and single phase to 20 volt uh, plus minus 10% and 50 hertz power supply. And also it requires a pneumatic complex uh, pneumatic pressure uh, which is uh, nearly 0.5 mega pascal. So this is the HMI. For this double-sided spot welding machine, and here you can see this is these are the uh, welding power supplies. Which two power supplies are connected for both two servo uh, servo motors, and each servo motor has two needles for spot welding in both the sides. So this is the left side, and this is the right side spot welding servo motors. And for each one, there is two power welding power supplies. So here you can here you can adjust the delay time. And uh, input current for weld needle one, welding time, and welding current of the needle two. And here you can see this is uh, showing off. But when you start the spot welding, here it will change to on. And this is for total number of counts. How many spot welding has done? How many spot welding is done? So you can uh, automatically it will uh, count and give you the numbers. And for changing this D T B I W T and W I values, you just manually click on this and it will change. And this is the M C V for this power power supply on. So you can you can see our jig. This is a 13 cross 19 uh, type combo board, and here you can see we have connected for. Three, three, nine, nine cells in parallel for uh, spot welding. You can see we have connected H type uh, nickel plate, nickel strip for uh, spot welding. On the both side, there is spot welding for nickel strip for spot welding. We will spot weld in both the sides. There is a water tank for cooling of the servo motors. You can see the temperature is visible, and this requires to be turned on while testing the while doing the uh, spot welding. And here you can see, this is the manual. Uh, this is for uh, manual operation. Uh, by uh, pressing these values, you will. For first, you have to log in to this opera uh, this screen. So we logged in as a technician, and here you have to go to manual. And here from here you have to select this panel uh, button enable. You can see we have enabled all the buttons. Now you can see we can manually operate this. You can see our um, this one move. This one is moving in Z axis. And this is for uh, this needle movement. This x axis is for needle movement, and this y axis for move the movement of this jig. You can see we, uh, we are moving this jig. So first we will see this first interface. So here you can see the login uh, login credential. Like here the user technician status. Uh, the machine is right now in stop mode, so this is showing stop. And this is the date and time when it is running. And here you can see the start, stop, reset, and initialize and robot reset option. And also you here you can see which program is loaded and what are the set points in details. And also here is the language option for multiple options. Uh, this is for Chinese and this is for English. And here, uh, for, for our first testing purpose, we have to first go to this manual op option. By clicking on this manual, here you can see there's this position for checking safe safe location when welding position for checking, and this pressure fixture <coughs> cylinder retract. This is for the holding of the jig. By pressing it, you can see our jig is uh, this 
piston is holding our jig you can see this one so this is this will fix our jig for movement and here you can uh, change the speed of the uh, our uh, jig movement by clicking on it so in slow mode it will move slowly and in fast mode it will move fastly and uh, you can see this is for right manipulator then here it is the left manipulator and uh, this is the mobile platform so each for each movement there is different manipulator is given for editing and for uh, giving the parameters so first we have to for pro our programming what we have to check we have to first uh, find out this z axis current position and y axis current position for our first point in the jig So for uh, our jig, this is the first point for o welding. This is the first point for welding. So according to that, we will do our programming. So first, we have to man we have to move the buttons and set the first uh, needle point. So by moving this Z. And then y axis, then uh, checking the x value. If the point is correct, we will set according to that. So for now, this is, we will set this. Once this position is find out, like this z axis current position for left axis, left manipulator, and y axis position. Uh, so once this position are find out then again go to this right manipulator and uh, you have to again check this z axis position of the uh, right manipulator also once these values are find out then you have to go to this setup once you go to this setup you have to select your uh, right axis z position uh, so right side z power axis position welding start position and left side z axis weld start position once this position are find out and then put this one and then you have to set this y axis position which is mobile platform welding start position so uh, you can see we have put this value already and uh, after that once this position are set we have to go to our select our process which process we want to test so uh, you can see there are three processes available test hd and test uh, xyz so i have programmed in test so once i will there i will click on it you can see our current selected recipe is selected once uh, selected you have to click on sure once sure the currently used formula will be selected as test then close the window you can see our in both the sides the test process is in, uh, taken then we have to program our process here we have to click on the array data import by clicking on it here you can see their row and column is given so this is required for how many spot weldings you want to do uh, how many columns and how many rows you want to uh, support weld so then we, here we will select this position so for my uh, testing this is 3 in row and 3 in column so I will set these values once done and also to find out the center to center distance in row spacing and also in column spacing and for my jig it is 18.5 uh, so I have set it 18.5 then I have to click on this coordinate generation. Once done, you can see total point welding points has changed to 9 and uh, we are doing single hole welding points 2. So to, there will be 2 uh, spot welding at uh, each, uh, each, each welding holes. Once the parameters is changed, you can see all the z-axis and y-axis parameters are changed here. And here you can see the mode. Here this mode is for uh, required for uh, changing the sport welding uh, which servo motor you want to sport weld. Like uh, uh, in normal board, uh, the both the servo motors will sport weld. And once you change this left welding, so left side servo motor will go and uh, sport weld. And once uh, like I will change this to right welding, that means our right side servo motor will only sport weld. 
then this gap means uh, those two spot welding will be jumped and the next third position will be started and then again comes the normal once done you have to save the data by clicking on data save plc then data save hmi once these are done you have to close this screen and here you can see our parameters are changed and here you can see total welding points 9 total uh, per uh, hole 2.2 spot weldings and here you can see the spot welding positions once this is uh, done perfectly then our, we will go to our home before that you have also you have to check this monitor option and here you have to check if the jig sensor is working or not you can see all the sensors which are required is perfectly uh, working after this is done you have to go to home then you have to click on initialize for initialization of the push, uh, of the uh, needles and all the um, jig movements once done we have to click on this green button this is for start purpose we have to press it for few seconds then our process will start process is completed the needles will the, uh, the servo motors will come to their origin position and stop the process and this pressure fix, fixture pressure will be uh, released and after that you can just bring out this and see the spot weldings here you can see our nine spot weldings are done perfectly in the both both the sides now i'll open this and here you can see the sport weldings if you try to remove this you can see how strong this sport welding is done You can see this port welding is too uh, too tight. I can't even uh, remove it with uh, too much force. You can see these port weldings in the both the sides. How strong they are! <coughs> so you can see this is too strong port welding. So this is all about this 5000 ampere 6 axis double sided spot welding machine. For live demo of this device or any other device, you can visit our head office at Parparganj Industrial Area, New Delhi. For more videos, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.